What's good? My name is Cristo Nicolaio. Thank you for stopping by and tuning in. I hope that you're doing well today. I have a message for you. You and I are living in a time, unlike ever before, where success is the easiest to obtain than ever before. You could get money, you could get clout, you could get a connection, a divine connection to get you someplace that you desire to go. You could get a husband, you could get a wife. Any and everything is so easily accessible at the swipe of a finger. Just at the drop of some content, at the drop of an address, at the drop of some integrity, can everything just pop off for you overnight? Knowing this and also seeing it all around you, seeing everybody take full advantage of that at times may be discouraging for some of you at times, right? It makes it all the more difficult knowing that as children of God, we are called to process, we are called to endurance, we're called to go through the wilderness. And so the temptation can be there to gaze upon the wicked. But I want you to remember that God says, do not envy the wicked. God says to not envy the wicked. God laughs at the wicked for he knows that his day is coming. As of late, God has given me eyes to see and I hope that you have them. And if you don't, I pray that you receive them as I give you this revelation through knowledge. Lately, as I have been seeing people who have skyrocketed, who have through wicked means obtained the kinds of things that God has promised me, it's hard for me to get covetous. It's hard for me to get jealous these days because the higher that I see them is the lower that I see them tormenting in hell. The more that they store their treasures upon this earth, is the more that they will suffer, the more people that they have flocking to them by way of an unholy spirit is the more that they will be held accountable. Scripture talks about different levels of rewards. God says that he will reward every man according to his deeds on that day, on that good and faithful day, on that great and terrible day for some. Every man will be rewarded according to his deeds and not just rewards that are good, but people will receive the reward of their wickedness. I think of Beyonce, I think of Ice Spice. I pray to God, I don't rejoice in this. I don't rejoice in what could become of people who live for the world because God, not even God, delights himself in the idea of any of his creation perishing. Even if they're wicked, he wills for them to repent. But we think of Beyonce who is a name that is massive today. Over the course of many years has she acquired what she has. And Ice Spice has had the unfortunate luxury of being able to thrive in a very technological, social media savvy based world in a very technologically advanced generation. When you see these people, do not grieve, not just these individuals, but when you see other people walking into what you have been promised by God, do not grieve, do not feel covetous, do not feel jealous because they are finding their lives right now and they will lose it in the end. Like I said, God talks about different rewards. There's different levels of rewards. There's different levels of torment. There's a torment for those who, who have sinned and heaped up in their wickedness. Yet grace was abounding. Where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. God extended grace. You know, dozens of videos are out concerning certain individuals because they have all the eyes looking upon them. There's all these children of God who can see them and all these warnings go out to these people. They have more warnings and more even specialized words for them to warn them to turn away from their wicked deeds. Not everybody gets that. Not everybody gets that. That's that increased measure of grace bestowed upon them within their wickedness. But God forbid if they die, which many people will, I want you to know many people who are succeeding and thriving in this world right now are doing so because they have rejected the Lord. They have leaned unto their own understanding. Not all that glitters is gold, as we know. Most of it is not because scripture says that broad is the path to destruction. Many there will be upon it. Many there are walking on it right now. So it's all a facade, the things that you see. It's a facade, okay? Scripture says that hell literally expands itself for these ones, okay? And for those of you operating in integrity as a minister of the gospel, prophesying on behalf of the Lord the true things, do not feel discouraged when you see those diviners prevailing, when you see people catapulting overnight who have no substance of truth to their messages. Do not feel any kind of way because for these ones, there is a greater level of torment for them. Even if that torment was solely just a mental thing, that would be enough. 
but there is a punishment to a higher degree for those who knew better but refused to do better. There's a punishment for those who rejected truth and they had access to truth. They had all these thousands of people cleaving to them and God spoke to them and warned them and they continued on in their way. They will experience their reward. They will experience their reward. And look, there are a lot of people who are not living up to their God-given potential. They're out of alignment and purpose just for the sake of keeping up with the algorithm and having the vain praises of man. Make no mistake. And I have a separate video on this, but YouTube promotes false prophets. YouTube promotes false prophets. So for those of you doing the work of the Lord in spirit and in truth, do not be deceived by the illusion and the facade. In Jesus' name. I say this to you today to encourage you to hold fast to the course i think about i'm gonna put the visual on the screen but the carrot the two rabbits picking up their carrot the leaves are really big but it's a really tiny carrot for one there's a huge carrot for the other and the leaves at the top are really small like i said with all the distraction in the world and all the easy access that people are taking advantage of it can make you think back and wonder why you're staying the course wonder why why not just do what they're doing? Why not be on OF and just do whatever? Why not just have a sugar daddy? Some chicks are thinking like this. Why not, right? When it's so easy to do. The reason you shouldn't is because you will be held accountable and you will be judged for it. The higher the height, the greater the fall. I pray you see that when you see these people. But look, don't let your validation don't let your sense of validation come from the fact that people will be tormented and be dealt with by God. No, because what will you do? Where will you find your confidence when it is God's promotion upon somebody's life, upon their ministry, upon their family, their marriage, whatever it is? Where, speaking of marriage, there are people who have brought themselves together and it could look all glamorous, but God was not, God didn't sovereignly ordain that. You don't know everything that goes on behind the scenes, all right? But when it is God, you need to be confident enough in who he says that you are, that you don't look at that and say, oh, that's the devil. You're going to be, no, you're going to be tormented. Mm -mm. That's not what we do. If we know that it is of God, we pray for there to be expansion. We pray for glory. We pray for all the more blessings because whatever happens for one of us, it happens for all. We're all in the body of Christ. It is for the kingdom of God. It is ultimately for the greater good of the kingdom of God. But this message is particularizing those who thrive in their wickedness. Don't look upon them and be covetous of what they have. And God led me to ask you, and even to ask myself at times, does the world look attractive to you? Is the world attractive to you? Is the success of the world attractive to you? Because if it is, if you gaze in that direction long enough, soon enough you will begin to do what these people do to get where they have arrived at. Examine your heart and question yourself, why do I feel this way? If and when you see something that you want and you begin to feel a frustration within you, ask yourself why? Because as children of God, we store our treasures up in heaven, not upon the earth. We don't prepare our beds in hell, no. We store our treasures up in heaven because moth and dust will corrupt here. Flames will overtake the things that we have developed. A flame will overtake these natural things. It will be consumed and overtaken. So set your gaze up on high. Look straight, look up. For your redemption draws nigh in Jesus' name. Look not to your left, look not to your right. He is coming and his reward is with him. Okay? Remember, it is easy to live on the broad path. It is easy to do as the world does. The world loves its own. It is easy that way. It is harder to sacrifice the desires of your flesh. It is harder to endure the course that God has for you. You possess the spirit of God living on the inside of you, those of you who have given your lives to Christ. You possess the very spirit of God. You possess the approval of the Lord by way of what Christ has done for you upon that cross. You possess a name that is recorded in the books of heaven. You possess a seat at the table of the Lord in eternity. That is the greatest gift of all through Christ, okay? Never forget that. Don't forget who you are in Jesus' name.
I pray that this message has blessed you. Please do share if you feel led. My name is Krista Nicolaio, and that'll be changing soon. Boom.